Little bunny, little bunny, I love you so much. Hi guys, if you haven't already noticed, we have a puppy. He is settling in well. I think he's a bit snoozy right now, so I thought perfect time to film this intro because when he's active, he's active, although he does sleep quite a bit. So this is Barney, our eight week old golden retriever puppy, so cute. We did do a full video of him on the day that we picked him up and um, I just wanted to upload this video, just in case any of you are thinking about getting a puppy yourselves or have just bought one. Um, I'm trying to be quiet. This is gonna be a puppy haul. I have actually pre-filmed the part that you're about to see because trying to film that with a puppy, not good. And also we've used some of the things. Oh, he's shaking a little bit. He's never been in this room, have you? You're like, where am I? It's okay. You're just here to look cute. That's all you need to do. So yeah, if you wanna see what I have picked up for him, it's very excessive. You definitely don't need it all. I'm just that super protective, overprotective dog mum that just needs everything in case of all scenarios. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see what this guy's up to, then he has a little Instagram, Barney the Great Golden, and also a TikTok, Barney the Great Golden. We're gonna post on that all the time, aren't we? welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i hope you're all doing really really well you may have noticed we have a new addition to our household a little barney and this section of the video is actually pre-filmed so i in my time right now i'm so excited to meet him well in fact i've met him but yet to have brought him home to his new home so i thought it would be best to pre-film this part of the video with it all being yet to be set up and um, without little munchkin running around distracting me from filming. So uh, the calm before the storm, that's what we will say. I have been collecting a whole host of goodies since before Christmas. We've known since before the pups were born that we were gonna be getting a pup from this litter if the gender was provided it was. So we have our little Barney boy waiting to be collected. And these are all the things that I've bought on recommendations. I've been given books. Oh, in fact, let me go get one book because this book was quite handy actually. So Tom's mum picked me this up for my birthday, I think it was. I've been having to be really careful opening things and the amount of vlog content over Christmas and my birthday and everything that I've had to cut out because the crate was in the background and I didn't want it to ruin the surprise. Same with opening presents for Christmas and birthday. I did get a few doggy bits for Barney. So, Golden Retriever book, The Essential Guide by Rob Duffy. I've just been going through marking pages and underlining things that I think um, are really important or things that I didn't know. <sighs> really helpful and useful but i've also just been watching loads of youtube videos i've been watching them for years i'm just obsessed with dogs so i feel like i've got a good grasp on how it will be but obviously each dog is different so this tub by the way is from poundland it was actually five pounds but i've been keeping it in our lounge with a lamp on it and inside has been all of barney's bits along with this crate which i bought from amazon i'll leave links to everything i can below if you are about to become a new pup owner yourself. How exciting if you are. Or if you have a dog and you wanna pick up some bits or if you've got a friend who's getting a dog, whatever it may be. I'll try and leave everything linked in the description box below. So yeah, this crate I got online from Amazon. It's actually branded RAC. It's a really good quality double door so you can have access from this side or the door on here opens as well. This is the large size. I have all intentions of crate training them for the first few months and then packing this away in storage and never seeing it again until maybe pup number two comes along. I just want it to be to settle him as a puppy, keep him safe and secure. This be his little home where he can take himself off to for sleep and also be put in at night to um, keep him downstairs and keep him safe. That's the main priority as well, is to keep him safe. So this I've got him loads of toys already and I was actually gifted some for Christmas and birthday. So this is so cute. It's a little sheep from the brand Nandog Pet Gear and this is from TK Maxx at 5 dollars And then I got this one from, 
got to try and remember all these. This was from Pound Stretcher. I think it was only about a pound. And it's also got a little squeaky in there. And it's just a cute little, like, bear. You might notice in this haul, you know my theme and my home decor is very much this. Obviously a lot of dog toys are very colourful and I'm fully expecting the house to become a rainbow thrown up all over the room with all the dog toys. But for now, I'm just thinking my eyes peeled out for cute ones that actually suit the aesthetic, but obviously I appreciate it's not going to stay like that. So I've got um, two dog towels. These are both from Amazon and they're really good quality, like a microfiber type material which helps them dry really quickly apparently. It's the biggest size that they do. It's in a nice ideal colour for muddy walks and it's even got a little paw print on so good for Barney. So yeah I like the fact that these are like ultra absorbent particularly for a wet dog after a walk so um, I actually picked up two. One to have in this back door here when we come in, maybe one by the front door as well. I'd quite like one in our car just to be able to just have a towel to hand, especially if one's in the wash, then we've always got one ready to go. These were about £15, which is kind of spenny for a towel for a dog, but it's that microfiber element that I really like. I also picked up this, which I thought was so cute for um, his dog bowls to sit on, because I didn't want, this is quite slippy, this floor, and he'll be eating in here, and I didn't want the bowls to be going everywhere, so I thought to get a little mat like this would be quite handy. So it's an absorbent, helps soak spills and messes, so again, if they're like drinking water and they dribble a bit, this gets some excess spillage. It's from the range, this one, and I bought these bits quite a while ago, so in fact the receipt's here, so I'll be able to tell you how much this was. It was £2.99. When I first met Tom, he was living with his best mate who had just bought a beagle puppy. I remember this being really good. We had a hot water bottle in his crate and just kind of like put it under his bed. Basically kind of replicates the fact that when they sleep as a full litter, they will kind of sleep on top of each other, keep each other warm. So this will just be a nice little comfort thing and nothing more, nothing less really. This is from Home Bargains. It was £2.49. Oh, in fact, I'll show you this because this was actually a Christmas gift from Tom he bought for me. And it actually, so cute. This is for big boy Barney. This is for when he grows up. This is his like long-term nice, lead and collar so um i actually a friend of mine got this cute little barber bandana which you tie around the collar as well but that obviously can detach but i love that so this is the lead and collar he went for he went for a brown with a brass which is exactly what i would have gone for so well done tom for picking that and we do have a little dog tag it's in here somewhere that we had printed with like our information on um from pets at home we got that done it was about six pounds and at the end of the lead which has a really nice like padded supported handle it also has a little clip on of a little poo bag dispenser so it's all handcrafted leather really really nice great quality and definitely like i said his expensive one so it was just from a local company i'm not sure if they have a website or anything um this is the little canvas bag it came in and it was called awl company so by all means look that up but i think it was just like a local um what are they called leather smith i'm sure there's a term is it Le leather smith so i did also get just a couple of uh puppy pad toilet training pads there are eight in a pack in fact yeah eight for the price of six you get 33 percent extra free i did pick up two of these our intention is not to use these i might use these for the first initial couple of weeks just to have maybe in his crate the bed basically takes up half of the crate at the back so i was thinking about putting puppy pad at the front just so that if he does have an accident in the night just so he doesn't have to sleep in his mess. Also quite handy apparently to use to like mop up spillages, messes in the front room. Well, not in the front room if it's carpet. I've got a carpet cleaner, which I'll show you. Speaking of cleaning products, I did pick up this Febreze Fabric Refresher. I'll be able to use regular cleaning products throughout the upstairs, but I just wanna make sure that all the cleaning products that we do have 
a dog friendly, pet friendly. So this is just like a Febreze fabric refresher for like the sofa, his bed and carpet and everything. I also picked up these from Wilco's, they're pet bathing wipes. I got a dog eye and ear wipes just to keep his eyes, you know, like tear stains and ears clean. These will just be handy to have in the car on the go, but also in the house. So I might actually get some more of those. Neutral do the sniff and purr carpet and room deodorizer for pet odors. So if he does have any accidents on the carpet, this helps eliminate it. So as to avoid him having an accident in that same place again. I have this dog chew toy, which for when he's teething, it's a nylon toy, which is flavored vanilla, apparently. Can't smell any vanilla, but 2 dollars this was from Pound Stretcher. Okay, Tom actually brought this home one night. He'd been to Aldi to do a food shop, and he brought this home because golden retrievers are double coated. So they are used to going in and out of cold water. They are perfectly fine with it. You rinse them off when you get back home and they're fine. But as a puppy, we're getting him obviously January, winter. It's gonna be cold when we take him out on his first walks after all his vaccinations in February. So this is actually a large and I'm thinking, I mean, my mum and dad were like, that is huge. But I think by that time he will fit in this and it's just in case it's particularly cold just for the first couple of walks maybe just to get him used to the outdoors the cold just to have a cozy little coat i forgot to tell you where it's from it's from aldi oh no i did tell you that didn't i just didn't tell you how much 6.99 this one was and it's like a little barber jacket i got two rope toys like a daddy one and a baby one and um, this obviously more so for when he is a bit bigger, a bit older, teething, chewing, just a rope pull toy. But also I saw this little baby one. These were both from TK Maxx. I think these were about two, like two, three pounds and about four or five. And this I've read up is quite good if you get rope toys like this to put water on them and freeze them so that when they are teething, they find it quite uh, relaxing. There's fluff in the air everywhere from these. Um, they find it quite um, relaxing and quite nice on their gums whilst they're teething. The little one was $1.99 and then the big rope one, the daddy rope one, $4.99. Is it Pound Stretch or TK Maxx? Might have been TK Maxx. It's another little, it's not a squeaky toy, it's like a, a rattle toy, it's like a baby toy. It is a pet toy, it does say Rosewood Pet on it. Rattle toy was $2.99. So I treated us all really to this gorgeous throw. This is going to go on the sofa. We have a black sofa. So wearing black and having black fabrics with a golden retriever, I can imagine, you can only imagine, we're going to be hoovering every day. So to put this over the sofa just like on a regular daily basis, I thought it'd be quite nice to have this spread out on the sofa and we are gonna allow him on the sofa for cuddles so um, he can lie on this and it's so soft, even just for us to have on the sofa to cuddle up with. But yeah, I just love this so much. It's from the Bella Lux range from TK Maxx and it was 19.99, so soft. I absolutely love that. This one again is from TK Maxx. It was in the sale from 9.99 down to two pounds and it's an antibacterial dog fun, massages gums, easy to clean, chicken scented chew toy, again for when he's teething. I just thought these would be handy to have in to avoid him chewing on the house. Although the house, skirting boards and things like that, it's more for his safety to not chew on them because we're we're not really that precious because we, we're yet to renovate in here. We've got big plans to do full renovations. So this year is gonna be a bit hectic, a bit crazy, but all worth it in the end. And by the time we're all finished with the renovations, he's no longer gonna be a puppy. So um, anyway, I also got this combo brush it's called, and it's an healthy, eco-friendly brush. There's even a golden retriever on the front of it. And it's got the brush on the front, but it also has these softer bristles, so more for when he's a puppy, to use these just to keep him groomed. Because golden retrievers are known for like matting because of their long fur. So that is, oh no, one last thing from TK Maxx. Um, a little box of, I think there's two, four, six, eight sets of poo bag rolls in gray and black. So 160 poo bags, and these are scented as well bit bougie for a dog poo bag but there you go 3.99 for all of them moving on to things from in the crate now i actually just received this today it was from amazon i got this on amazon prime yesterday i ordered this 
So our car, or my car, the one that I drive and the one that he may be in, will be, it's, it's a Mercedes A-Class, so it's not got like a big boot. So I've seen these that go from the front, the, the back, like the headrest on the front seats down across and up to join the headsets on the back seats. So you open the back door and he jumps in and basically has free reign of the back um, of the car. You can also put your seats down to make it a big like open boot and then this spreads out to across the whole boot and it attaches to the headsets at the front. So I hope that makes sense. It was only about 15 pounds, which I thought was pretty reasonable. It's like got a quilted effect. It's got the slits for being able to put your seatbelt on still and also to attach him via a seatbelt connector for safety. So yeah, I just thought it had pretty good reviews on Amazon. So again, I will leave that link. This was a fun little Christmas gift, which yet again, I couldn't really show on camera when I was vlogging Christmas day. But my parents actually got us this, which I thought was so fun. It's like a Nerf gun, but with little tennis balls. So out in the garden, we can play this and just shoot them some tennis balls, keep them active. They're puppy ones as well, so they are little tennis balls. And look at the puppy on the front. He is so cute. So yeah, I thought that, I don't know where she got it from, but this is gonna be fun. Definitely we'll be getting clips over on his Instagram page of having some fun with that. Another thing I ordered on Amazon actually last night for next day delivery was this Aptil, Adaptil, Adaptil it's called. They do a range of products to help keep dogs calm. They do colors. This is actually a diffuser. It's a 30 day starter kit. So you get the plug-in diffuser and a refill as well, which lasts up to 30 days, at which point we'll probably bin it, see how he goes. It's really hard to determine whether or not these work because if you have a puppy and you have one of these already and it seems calm you don't know if this is doing it or if it's just a calm puppy anyway a few of my friends who have had puppies have um, used these and they said the same thing they said whether or not it works i don't know but he seemed pretty calm and we had one of these plugged in so got one of them oh these are two little cute fun things that my parents got as well they basically did a little stocking for barney and um, so they got this little bandana it's from tk max mum always leaves the price so <laughs> three pound 49 this was and it's a christmas edition so this should fit him actually next year and it's gray and white and it's got these little antlers on it so i thought that was so cute and she also got me this ribbon's so cool it's got little paws on it but she got me this little woof best dog ever frame which i thought we could put a nice little picture of barney as a puppy in there um because he's going to be the best dog ever another couple of bits they put in his stocking was this rope toy again this is one that you could wet and freeze to help soothe their gums when they're teething and this as well from webox it's like one of the crinkly toys it's like a sensory toy for puppies so and it's like a little newspaper how cute i picked this up from b&m which is house proud self-cleaning two-pack lint and hair remover four-piece set at five pounds again like i said people always kept on saying when i said i was getting golden retriever oh their fur's gonna be everywhere my hair's everywhere. I'll manage, I can hoover up. This is one that I picked up quite early on. I knew I was gonna get this because I love the Dr. Beckman carpet cleaner. Um, I use it on sofas, fabrics, stairs, whatever it is, and it's amazing for getting stains out. So this is um, the specific pet one, which is a stain and over odor remover. So again, if they have any accidents, use this to clean up as opposed to the regular one and it actually eliminates the odor so that they are less likely to go there again and again it's got a cute little golden on the front there are so many i've noticed on ads for pet cleaning products they quite often use golden retrievers i also got in barney's little stocking from my mum and dad this kong which kong brand so many products are raved about from their brand so this is actually called the handy pod so it's got the little poo bag dispenser at the top with a clip on so you can clip it onto you as you're walking but it's also got a little hand gel sanitizer dispenser at the bottom so especially with current times i feel like that is so appropriate but also you know just for picking up poo to keep sanitary i really like that i also got another nylon treat um ring again in vanilla flavor this one is for barney obviously for barney <laughs> not for me this is something that was from tk maxx at 3.99 again another little chew bone and this one is in chicken flavor they also spotted a gray tennis ball and it does say merry christmas on it but i'm sure he'll play with this 
all year round. £1.29 this one was. I also picked this one up from Amazon. This is a half food and half water. Oh, you put the food. Oh, that's clever. I didn't even realise that. So basically it's a water bottle. I got the, this one's actually in grey. I know it says blue on the box, but it's not, it's grey. And you've got a little food treats holder at the bottom. You fill it up with water for a nice long walk. And then it has a little water dispenser that's in the shape of a bowl at the bottom. And any remaining water that is left over, you can put it back in the container. So no, none goes to waste, if that makes sense. Another thing in Barney's stocking, it's more so for me really though. This is from Vamoosh. It's a pet hair dissolver. So you add your normal detergent to this and it basically just helps eliminate any pet hair so if you're washing their bed for instance with your regular detergent to put this one in with it just helps dissolve the hair i did pick up from amazon a training lead whether or not we're going to use this i don't know i'm going to see how he is as a pup on his first walks there is a big field near us which i'm thinking about doing recall training and i don't really want to use this training lead it's just one of those extra extra long ones just so that you've always got hold of them but you can let them run free reign pretty much um i'm gonna try and let him off straight away but this is more as a backup just in case i don't feel comfortable with it or if he happens to be a really active puppy that likes to run off and recall is a struggle then i might use that but i'm gonna try and not use it i saw these lip pads they're basically a little pad with suctions on the back which you can stick to for instance your bath if you're trying to shower them and have them lick some peanut butter off something to keep them preoccupied or you can stick it to the floor as well again just a kind of like mind activity for them to keep occupied and keep doing something for a long period of time because toys like this can you know they can lose their interest pretty quickly so this keeps them a bit more preoccupied mum got me this dog bowl which actually matches i don't know if it's I think it might be in the dishwasher, but I've actually got a mug from Wilco's that actually pretty much matches. It's not the exact same, um, but I thought that was quite cute. The bowls that I got him initially were from Home Bargains. I think I picked these on ones up and they're just matching and they're actually a little bit smaller in size if you see. So for when he's a puppy, um, his measurements fit inside this bowl. So a little one for water and food. I also got this Kong. Like I said, Kong is a really good brand for these Kong chew toys. Again, to keep them preoccupied. Um, you put like food or treats in there and they have to get them out. The only thing is, is they do do puppy specific ones and this one isn't. This is actually a Kong Extreme for tough chewers. I need to get a puppy one, I think, just initially. I got this from Amazon as well. This is a, like I said, his really nice leather one that he's gonna have when he's big boy Barney. This is an interim um, for puppy Barney. Just a little black dog collar and lead set. It's just one of the click ones that you can just click open and shut. And to be honest with you, in the house, I'm not gonna have a collar on him. I don't know, I want him to be comfy and I do think it like can rub at their fur. So in the house, I probably will have him without one, but for when we do nip out to the garden or start going on walks, when he's a puppy, this is like a smaller lead and collar that will be suited for, yeah, when he's a little pupper. And then I also got this 1001 carpet fresh pet friendly again this is in thai orchid and passion fruit and again it's just a spritz of carpet especially if he does have a couple of accidents this is pet friendly this basket i got to put some chew toys in and have out on display from b&m this one is it was six pounds i just thought it'd be quite cute for him to be able to reach in and grab his toys as and when he pleases so these two toys are actually they're kids toys from ikea however having said that i know ordinarily you, you shouldn't really you know you should just get pet friendly because in case they molt or whatever these toys don't tend to molt and i'm going to cut out the ikea labels at the bottom they've no hard bits on the eyes or anything it's just stitching obviously i will always be with him when he's playing with toys the reason why i got these so cute my childhood teddy was Simba and I still have him he's upstairs and Simba I just thought he could have his own little Simba so this is Barney's Simba it's a little lion cub and then Tom had <sighs> is he gonna kill me for saying this he had Teddy Woo that's what he used to call it Teddy Woo and Teddy Woo looked just like this so he has his own baby Simba 
and Teddy Woo. And these will just be kept out like in the lounge, not in his dog bed. And in fact, I'll show you this bed. This is the one that we're gonna have out in the lounge. Again, like I said, this is the nice bed. This isn't the crate bed. This is the plush, super luxurious bed. Obviously it's probably gonna get trashed pretty quickly, but to be honest with you, I think he's gonna grow out of this pretty quickly. So this was 19.99. It's from that brand again, Nan Dog Pet Gear. I want to get him a really nice bed, but for when he's like full sized, and I, I just can't imagine, I mean, I've seen him obviously, and he's tiny, and I can't, Imagine him being comfy or cozy in a big golden retriever adult sized bed as a puppy. So anyway, I got him this for the first couple of months or however long he has this before he grows out of it. We can put his little Teddy Woo and Simba in there with his throw in there. It's going to be so cozy. I'm going to want to get in this bed. So I got this dream scene fleece blanket, 120 by 150 centimeters in black. This was super cheap on Amazon. It was about three quid. And I'm going to put this over the crate so it's a bit more of like a blackout. The front will be exposed, but I'm basically going to cover the crate just because, again, it makes them all the more feel comforted and it's like their safe zone. It feels a bit more cozy and enclosed. So, um, yeah, I've got that for that. And then to go in his bed for warmth and comfort and coziness, I am going to use this. This is a pet specific blanket called fairy baby i got it from amazon and they do loads of different colors this is just like a pretty neutral golden retriever color this will be his bed in the crate with this over the top and the water bottle probably underneath so this bed that i got i got it from home bargains it was only about seven pounds there's a chance that he might have accidents and stuff and this bed is good enough it's the right size to fit into the washing machine it's just going to be a temporary in the crate bed but it felt quite thin on the bottom it does have padding but for that reason i got this like extra like self thermal heating it's just like a teddy um kind of borg mat slash bed that you put in the crate now some people would just have this but i just wanted the cozier element of a bed and um it's also non-slip so it's got these grippy things which will help keep it in place so Bear with me. I'm gonna put the hot water bottle. Oh my god, my hair's going over. I'm gonna put the hot water bottle like underneath here so he doesn't chew it and it's like keeps the bed warm but it's safely tucked away. And then that, if you can see, base here for a little puppy pad for if he does go in the night by accident and he needs a little space outside of his bed to go, then he has it. And that is everything that I got. So I'm gonna cut back to current times where we actually have Barney. I'm so excited to be in the current times which you guys are watching by the time you're watching this video. Oh, I'm so excited. And this is why I've chosen to pre-film this section before pup arrives because imagine trying to control a pup within this madness. So there we have it. That is everything that I have picked up for Barney. He is only here. This is like his second full day. So um, I'll maybe do like a little bit of an update on his Instagram of things that maybe we didn't use, things that, things that he particularly loved and all that kind of jazz just to like keep you updated if you are thinking about getting a puppy yourself. But he needs a sleep now, don't you? So we will love you and leave you. See you next time. Bye guys. Mwah.